Friends in Christ, we are about to begin the most holy, sacred, special week of the year, which we call Holy Week, beginning with Palm Sunday weekend and continuing through the magnificent feasts of our Chrism Mass, the Mass of the Lord's Supper, the commemoration of the Lord's Passion, the Easter Vigil, and of course our Easter Masses where we are called by the Lord to renew our covenant in Him in baptism and His death and resurrection. So we begin with Palm Sunday weekend and the Passion narrative. This year we're in the year of St. Luke and from St. Luke we hear the Lord in some of His magnificent words in the midst of suffering Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. From this day forward, you will be with me in paradise to the good thief. And then, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. St. Luke's gospel, as we know, is, is magnificent, a gospel of mercy. And we continue then. The Chrism Mass is one where the diocese comes together, representatives every year uh, from our parishes around the diocese to celebrate the blessing of the holy oils and to take those oils back to their parishes. The oil of catechumens, the oil of the sick, and the oil sacred chrism. And we lead into the Triduum, the Mass of the Lord's Supper, and Good Friday. They are so closely interwoven together. Most recently, uh, Bishop Robert Barron uh, wrote a, a book that speaks about how important the understanding of sacrifice that supports and undergirds community and communion. So the Lord's sacrifice on the cross is the fountain from which our Eucharistic celebration occurs, the great feast of the Mass built upon our Lord's suffering and death, and then His resurrection, and then bringing forward the Lord's Supper. This is my body, this is my blood. We celebrate the great feast of the Eucharist, again its institution on Holy Thursday, but so closely linked to Good Friday. On Good Friday we proclaim the Gospel of John, his passion, and from the cross in John's Gospel we hear the Lord look upon his mother and St. John to say, woman Behold your son, son, behold your mother. And then shortly before dying, I thirst. And many have said the Lord is thirsting for our faith, our response to him in love. And then, Father, it is finished. So we have our Lord's words from the cross that, again, we could spend days reflecting upon, along with Matthew and Mark. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? but all of that leading into the Lord's resurrection from the dead. The Great Easter Vigil, you know that long mass is a magnificent, magnificent celebration of faith, the exultet, the blessing of the sacramental waters, the welcoming of our catechumens and candidates into the church through the sacraments of initiation, baptism, confirmation, and Eucharist and the renewal of our own baptism covenant. That is so special. We die with Christ in order to rise with Him in baptism, and we renew this covenant every year that we can then celebrate the Lord's death and resurrection as very much central to our lives. So it's a wonderful week. I hope in many ways that you can enter into it from your homes, from your daily lives, and at our liturgies, if that is possible. God bless you, and I look forward to be able to say Happy Easter.